Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and in this video, we're going to try to explain the different CAD output options from 3D scanning. Now, we've been doing 3D scanning, CAD modeling, and inspection for over 22 years. And the biggest challenge for most people that aren't involved in this industry uh, is understanding the CAD uh, uh, options or even inspection options uh, when you're using a 3D scanner. So whether you're going to buy your own scanner and do this, or you're going to you know, uh, pay EMS or somebody to do work for you, uh, it's really important you understand what your options are. Uh, because depending on the options, it drives price, right? The more complex, the longer it takes, whatever it may be, it's going to be more expensive. So we're going to go through this a little bit. And then also in the description below is a link for this file. It's just a little injection molded part. And we've, we have this output in all the different options that we're going to talk about here uh, in this video. Now, there's not a perfect part to do this, uh, but I don't want to have like 10 different parts. So we've put uh, the, uh, the different options in uh, uh, this part. We modeled it the different way. So uh, it, it works pretty well. That way you can bring in the same part and see what the right format is for you. Okay, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and download the file that's in the uh, description. Uh, there's a link to download a file. And that file is going to be a zip file. Uh, once you download that, open up that file. And these are all the files that are inside that zip file. And what will be uh, really handy is to open this PDF first called, uh, you know, read this first. Let's double click on that. And what this is is this is a description of all the different file formats uh, in this directory, in this zip file, and the different types. So this is a great document you can share along with the, these actual models, but this will describe in, in detail each format. Now I'm gonna go through it uh, on the computer so you can see it, but uh, if you have some people that wanna just read it, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this document can be shared. So it's gonna go through the each file format or the file type, the, the the different formats, the output, you know, the extensions, uh, the pros and the cons of each one. So we have polygon file, uh, we have surface model, we have hybrid model, we have feature-based solid model, we have native feature-based solid model, and then we have inspection report. And if you look here in the directory, uh, the names will... will uh, uh, basically have that. So for example, surface uh, model, and we've output it in a few different formats. So I just step in Parasolid are the three main neutral formats. So that's what you'll see here for this surface sample. Here's the polygon mesh, which will be a STL format. Here's the native feature-based solid model, which will be SolidWorks. The hybrid model is again in step, I just, and Parasolid. And then the feature-based solid model, uh, is also in uh, Parasolid and uh, STEP uh, format here. And then finally, the inspection report, which is a PDF file. So those are all the files, and it would <clears throat> really help if you download this first so you have all these file formats. So as I, as I load them up in this, the computer software here, it'll, uh, you'll have them and you can kind of follow along. Okay, so here are all those different file formats we talked about. We're going to go through each one of them. Now, I am using Geomagic Design X for this. Geomagic Design X is a, a very, very powerful reverse engineering tool uh, that we use to take scan data and turn it into CAD data. Um, we'll get into more detail here, but if you're wondering what I'm using, that's, that's what you're seeing here. So I'm going to go through these different files, and we're going to talk about each one. Uh, and what I'm going to start with, and again, if you follow along in the PDF, the first one is going to be the polygon file, okay? The polygon file is basically an STL file that's essentially the raw scan. Uh, when I mean raw scan, it's the scan data. It may be cleaned up and processed a little, but it's scan data. So as we've talked about in many of our videos, 3D scan data is not CAD data. Okay, it's a polygon file, and it, in this case, it looks really nice and looks like CAD data, but it's not. As I mentioned, you know, you can see where the sprue was on the part. You can see the date stamp here. Uh, you know, you can see some of the imperfections, uh, probably where the injector pins were. Um, you know, all the discrepancies. You see some stuff on here. 
So it's a, it's an exact copy of the manufactured part. Now, if I come in here and turn on the edges of the polygons and zoom way in, you'll see what this is. This is just triangles. Let me turn the faces on, okay? So this is just a bunch of little triangles. What does that mean? Well, though this is not CAD geometry. This is not a cylinder or a hole. You know, this up here is not a plane, etc. And when you import this into most CAD systems, this will come in, for example, in SOLIDWORKS as a graphical entity. And you really can't do much with it. You can't cut sections through it. You can't build geometry. You can't extract CAD features. You can essentially look at it. Now, this is the first step in the 3D scanning process. And if you just want polygon data, this is the fastest and the most affordable option we can offer you because we simply scan it, do a little bit of basic cleanup, and then we, we export it from the scanning software, and that's it. But as I mentioned, this is not manufacturable. It is not a CAD model. There's no sharp corners. There's no real features like cylinders or holes or planes or spheres. It's just kind of a big blob, okay? And most CAD systems can't do anything with it. But again, if you wanna play with it, it's the file here called Polygon Mesh Sample, okay? And you can load it into your CAD system and see. Now, if you can work with that, and if you can build CAD with that, great, that's all you need, okay? But that's a Polygon Mesh, and the biggest misconception is people think this is a 3D CAD model, and they can use it for manufacturing or make changes to it, and again, you really can't. So that's the Polygon Mesh, okay? Let's hide that and let's go to what we call the auto surface, okay? Now, what is an auto surface? Well, it, it kind of looks, and let's actually turn that mesh on for a minute. So it looks very similar to the mesh because it's pretty much a copy of that mesh, and it's a process called auto surfacing, and what auto surfacing does is it just builds four-sided uh, uh, surfaces. So this is a CAD model now, meaning you can export this as an IGES or a STEP or a Parasolid file, okay? Because it is a mathematical CAD model. The problem is it's an exact replica of this model. So you still see the sprue and the timestamp. Now you'll notice they look a little bit washed out and that's because during this process of surfacing, um, it cannot really create sharp corners, so things get a little bit smoothed out, okay? So technically, this is a CAD model, but it's not a very smart CAD model because it's just a little four-sided patches, okay? So you can bring this in your CAD system, but it's, you know, it's not, it's probably, you know, it's an exact replica of the manufactured part, and you're probably going to have trouble editing this in your CAD system because, Again, there's no planes, there's no cylinders, there's no holes, there's no real features, there's no sketches attached to this, okay? So is it better than just a uh, the raw scan data? Yes. Could you use this now to cut sections and rebuild a sketch-driven feature model? Yes, but you're going to have to do all that work, okay? So if we go back to our file here, that's the one called surface sample, and that's in Parasolid Step and IGES format. So if you want to load that up and see if you can work with that, uh, you know, go ahead and, and you could rebuild your model, uh, you know, rebuild a, a traditional sketch-driven CAD model with this file. But again, it's not an intelligent and it's a CAD model and it's not very editable, okay? So that is called the surface model. Now, let's look at the hybrid model. So the hybrid model is a little bit different. And what you'll notice is, especially if you look at these holes and some of these features. Now, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on how we do this. We've actually got some videos and there'll be a link below on how we build a hybrid model. But essentially what we do is we take all the features, like the bosses and the holes, and we edit the mesh and we basically delete them and then we rebuild them as solid body features in the software. So the holes are, for example, you pick that, that's a cylinder. Uh, this is either a cylinder or a cone. Same with this, same with this. So it's a little bit better in the sense that the holes all have now sharp corners and they are features. But the rest of kind of the, the, the organic shape stuff is still this multi-patch uh, file. Now, some files 
lend themselves to this or some some sh uh, if you have some really organic shapes uh, this is fine to have all of this as this patch but then all of your other stuff is cut back in as feature so this is a good format when you have a part that's kind of think of an, an exhaust manifold where you've got some really organic shaped areas but then you have specific holes and maybe a mounting plane where it mounts on the cylinder head um, this is a good format and this is called a hybrid model so this is a pretty viable option for some types of parts and again i'll link a video below that you can watch and actually see us design a part in this format okay um, so that one is again that's called the hybrid uh, model that you see here and then let's go to the feature model okay now this one you can see looks drastically different than all the others because this is a sketch driven feature based model meaning this is a plane these are cylinders or cones these are you know etc to you know to model if you want to talk about time uh, obviously the scan data is just the scanning process and some cleanup then we make sure it's all watertight and we can make this auto surface model fairly quickly doing the hybrid model takes a little bit more work because we have to delete out some stuff and then we model it back in and then the feature driven solid model you see here takes the most work because we are literally cutting sections extruding lofting cutting sweeping we are rebuilding the whole thing and this is how you get sharp corners or true radii you know nice drafted surfaces you know let's look at the bottom of this part um, it, you know this looks more like a CAD model this looks like it was designed from scratch in CAD uh, when in fact it was designed off this uh, scan data over here okay so for more kind of sketch driven parts this is the most common option people want because this is uh more like a traditional cad model and it can be edited okay now the next step in this process so again this would go out as a uh a, a file in uh and this is called the feature model and here we have it in parasolid and step format okay and this would go out uh, in that format and people are very familiar with that and they could load this in and work with it so this is the most common option for kind of sketch driven more mechanical parts okay now the next process let's go back to our pdf for a second oops uh the next process let me bring that pdf back up uh from that feature driven model is we can do a native uh file now there are many formats including creo uh, Siemens NX, SolidWorks, Solid Edge, Inventor, and some others. We can do SolidWorks. Um, so what does that mean? Well, what it means is there are some features uh, in Design X that allow us to export. Here are the formats, okay? And this actually rebuilds the CAD model with the history tree. So if you have SolidWorks or you can load a SolidWorks file, here is the feature-based uh, model right here called native feature-based sample SolidWorks. Okay, so you see it's a so not only is it a native SolidWorks file, but it has the history tree. The history tree contains all the sketches, all the features, everything, and it means it's fully editable, which means you can roll back through this model. So let's say you want to change the size of this hole here, you could roll back in the tree to that sketch and change it now. If you go with the neutral one, the, the standard uh, step or IGES or Parasol format, it doesn't mean you can't edit it, but it's a little bit different process that will vary with your CAD system, okay? So the neutral version of this file, step or IGES or Parasolid, um, is you know the next, next most expensive uh, uh, model or, or output type. And the native, meaning the SOLIDWORKS, is even more expensive because we have to run this live transfer. Not everything goes through automatic. There's a little bit of work we need to do to get it in that native SOLIDWORKS format, okay? So let's just kind of review again here. Here's our, our, we're showing four, but there's actually five. So raw scan data is in a polygon format like STL. Auto surfaced model here, okay, is essentially a copy of this, but it is now all NURB surfaces. We can output this in Parasolid, IGES, or STEP. 
but it's probably going to be difficult to edit in your CAD system. You'll have to essentially still rebuild it. The next uh, one up is the hybrid, which is still auto surfaced, but yet some of the features like holes and bosses and certain shapes are modeled as uh, you know solid entities like you see here. And then the next one is the feature-driven solid model, sketch-driven feature-based solid model in either a neutral format like I just step parasolid or a native format and we offer SolidWorks because to do the others you have to have those systems and, and we don't. So the one we can offer is SolidWorks. And then the final format, which is really a little bit different, that is an inspection model, okay? And that's where we're doing inspection. So that's usually a little bit different application. That's where someone is providing parts and a CAD file to us, and we are 3D scanning it and inspecting it, and we are looking. So for example, here's a color map. Now let me show you what the full-blown inspection report would look like. And that is right here called sample inspection report. Now, we use Polyworks for most of our inspection, okay? So there's the CAD model right there. I'll just walk you through what a typical inspection report looks like. And then here's our datum alignment. So normally you're gonna do some kind of alignment based off the drawing, okay? Here's the color map we talked about. We can flag out some high and low points. So you can see here, uh, blue is undersized, red is oversized. So you can see here, we've got some sinking in the part, okay? And then we get into our full-blown GD and T here. So for example, a lot of positional tolerances on circles, okay? And we tell you the deviation, we give you the tolerance amount, we show how much you're out, and if it's out too far beyond whatever your tolerance zone is, then you can see though some of these have failed, okay? Um, here we've just got some dimensional callouts measuring these holes in, in, in their locations uh, from one another. And here we've got a, a section cut through the part and we're showing with this whisk, whisker plot uh, how the part deviates in or out from that section based back to the CAD model. Uh, here we've got some more dimensional callouts. Now, we, where do we get these, uh, these measurements? Well, we look at the drawing. So usually you're gonna get a CAD model and a drawing and then we can go through that and populate this inspection report with everything called out in the drawing. So this is what an inspection report would typically look like. It's typically a PDF file, and we can also output the results in a uh, in a in a like a CSV or an Excel file if you want to uh, uh, have that in those formats. So again, back to the PDF. Okay, this walks you through polygon, surface model, hybrid model, feature-based solid model in a neutral format native solid model in, in SOLIDWORKS format, and then finally the inspection uh, uh, file, okay? Inspection report. So those are all the different formats. Everything is in this file. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us um, and, and we can help you out. But these are the different uh, file formats we can offer for both reverse engineering and inspection. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully and now you have a better understanding of what it uh, means to be able to take 3D scan data and create a CAD model or an inspection report because uh, there's a process to that too. And, you know, it, 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 we like customers who are educated, who understand what we have to do to, to scan this stuff and CAD model it. And uh, so again, hopefully this was helpful. Now, if you want to learn more, if you want to discuss a project with EMS, if you want to uh, talk about maybe buying your own scanner and software, uh, you can give us a call. Uh, in the link below is our contact information and a quick contact form. But you can call us at 877-845-2700, or you can shoot us an email at info at ems3d.com.